The goal is to increase efficiencies, eliminate duplicate entry, and to get paid faster. With Blue Folder and QuickBooks, you and your team will enter work order details once and move them on to invoicing with a few easy steps. Let's first take a look at how that's done. Then we'll take a look at how you configure the Blue Folder QuickBooks integration. After logging into Blue Folder, go to the Billing tab. The Billing tab will show you all the work orders that are ready to be billed. These work orders will need to be batched and then sent over to QuickBooks Desktop. To create a new billing batch, simply click on New Billing Batch. Your first option is to choose the invoice date that you would like in QuickBooks for these work orders. Next, you'll need to choose the work orders for this batch. By default, Blue Folder shows all the work orders that have not been exported in the status of closed and where the work order total is greater than zero. It's a good practice to only move closed work orders to QuickBooks for invoicing. Depending on your preferences, you can select all work orders or select one at a time. This is useful when you have customers who are very specific on how they'd like to be billed. Maybe some of your customers want one invoice for all their work orders where other customers want a single invoice per work order. By allowing you to specify which work orders you want in this batch allows you to accommodate your customer needs. Once you've selected the work orders you'd like in this batch, simply click Save Batch. In the top left, you'll see the billing batch number. Under that, we'll see the batch information such as when it was created, and who created it. On the right, we'll see which billing batch options were enabled for this batch. These can be edited by clicking the Edit Batch Options. The batch options can be edited per batch. However, many customers can edit the batch options once, save them as a default, and never need to touch them again. Last but not least, we'll see the work orders in this batch that are ready to be exported and sent to QuickBooks. In this case, there are three invoices for three different customers. Because we're using QuickBooks Desktop as an integration, we'll need to download this batch and then import it into QuickBooks. To download the batch, simply click on Download Batch and the download will start. By default, the billing batch or file that we'll be using will go to your Downloads folder. Now if you've changed where you prefer your downloads to go, you want to look at that file for the download. If you haven't already, now is the time we need to download our QuickBooks import tool. To do this, simply hover over the billing tab and click download the QB import tool. Once the file is downloaded, click open and the QuickBooks import wizard will start. The wizard will guide you through the installation of the QuickBooks import tool to include asking where you'd like to save it and who is allowed to use the QuickBooks import tool from your computer. Once you've answered the questions, simply click Next and the QuickBooks import tool installation is complete. Once the QuickBooks import tool has been installed, you should be able to access the tool from either a shortcut on your desktop or going to the programs and searching for the QB import tool. In Windows 8, for example, simply from the home screen, type in QuickBooks import tool and it should pop up. The next step is to launch the QuickBooks import tool. The QuickBooks import tool can be launched from a shortcut on your desktop or by going to the programs on your computer and selecting the QuickBooks import tool. The next step is to browse and find the QuickBooks import file that we're looking for. Each file will be date and time stamped. In this case, we're looking for the file that was downloaded on the 16th of July. Double click the file and click Start Import. You want to make sure at this point that QuickBooks is running. Because we haven't set up a QuickBooks integration with this Blue Folder account yet, as soon as we try to import, the QuickBooks integration wizard is launched. The first step, we'll need to decide, do we want to be prompted every time to allow Blue Folder to access QuickBooks? Or would we like every time the company file is open to just go ahead and allow Blue Folder to import? In this case, I'm going to select yes whenever the company file is open. The next question is granting access to personal data such as social security numbers and credit card numbers to Blue Folder. In this case, we don't need that access, so we're not going to select it. 
The next step, simply click yes to proceed and we receive a confirmation. Click done and we're ready to import our invoices. We're returned to our QuickBooks import tool and we notice the three work orders that we had batched have now been imported into QuickBooks as invoice 7, 8, and 9. Let's go take a quick look at what those invoices look like in QuickBooks. I've logged into QuickBooks and the first place we want to go is look at our customers. So this is a new QuickBooks installation. You can see that the three customers who had work orders in that last batch were created within QuickBooks. I'm going to go ahead and click on one of the customers and it takes us to the customer profile. The customer name is imported from Blue Folder, the contact's full name, as well as their phone numbers and email. We'll also see below in the address detail where we send the invoices to. If the customer had already existed in QuickBooks, all Blue Folder would do is do a customer match on the customer name. Here on the right, we can see the invoices that were created within QuickBooks from Blue Folder. The first thing we'll notice is the date was imported based on the date that we had labeled our batch with. We'll see our bill to customer and the invoice detail. The first line of the invoice will make reference back to the work order that created the invoice, as well as the short description of the work order. Next, our items will be imported. Again, if the items exist in QuickBooks, there'll be just a quick match on the item name and the item will be added to the invoice. If the item doesn't exist, Blue Folder will create the item within QuickBooks when it's used on a work order and imported. In this example, we see the item name is Project Related Materials. We see a quantity of one, we see the short description, and in this case we see our technician notes. We see the rate and the amount and if it's taxable or not. Below that, we see our hourly rate, which is a labor item. We see the quantity of four, we see the short description and the detailed description of the item, as well as the technician notes. We see our rate and our total and the taxable column. In the bottom of this invoice, we chose in the batch options to include the details from the work order. Scrolling down, we can get a good idea of what was done on this work order. We've also sent over the tax rate and we've sent the work order number over to the memo field. Last but not least, I specified in my batch options within Blue Folder that I wanted to mark the invoices as to be emailed within QuickBooks. So then my next step might simply be to click email and choose the invoice or batch to see all the invoices that have been marked to be emailed and send them as a batch. QuickBooks will also behave this way if you've marked your invoices to be printed. I've just gone back to Blue Folder and I'm on the billing tab. We mentioned a few times the billing batch options. Billing batch options can be configured in two places. One, if you go to configure your billing options and drop down to the default options for the system invoices and the default QuickBooks options, you can tailor what you'd like to see on your invoices within QuickBooks. You also have access to those billing batch options when creating a new batch and clicking batch options. For questions and help, please contact Blue Folder. You can also find us at www.bluefolder.com.